Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Object Removal Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to add a Shift Space Object Removal. And this node is a node that was originally developed by DaVinci Resolve to be used in the Color Grading tab, but we can use this within Fusion as well. And the way this works is we simply input or media into the uh, media input. And we've got this green tab that is for a removal mask, basically what we're removing. And we have this blue input that's the our effects mask to take place where we want the effect to take place. Then we have this pink input, which is for a clean plate. So if we have this original footage, we have a clean plate that doesn't have what we want to remove in it. We can input that into this pink input. So in this footage, we want to uh, say, remove this red stoplight in the background because uh, the client says, Hey, it's a little annoying, which happens often. So we need to remove this stoplight. There's many ways to do this and probably other ways that I would do, but we could use the object removal tool to quickly remove this object. So the way it works is input our info and we want to create a mask or an ellipse around what we want to remove. So we can shrink up our ellipse. We can bring it over our stoplight and uh, we can just bring it in. You kind of want to make it as small as possible so you're not removing everything. We just want to remove what's around this stoplight. And uh, we could track this, but since this is a pretty uh, simple movement, we can just uh, keyframe it. Let's go to the end. And we're going to move it back over. So now we've got it following our stoplight. And this is what we're going to input into this green input on our object removal. So if we go to our object removal, we can go up here and select this show mask overlay which is going to show an overlay of what we masked off and what we're going to be removing. And before we select this scene analysis, let's go over this other stuff. So assume no motion. So what this chat box does is it's going to assume your camera is locked down and not moving. But since our camera is moving along with our actress, we don't want to check this. But if our, film, our footage was stationary, we could go ahead and check this and it would do a better job of removing that object. Under our scene modes, we have three modes, which is background. And what your background is going to analyze is the entire image, except for the object region. Then we have boundary. And what boundary is going to analyze is the boundary area surrounding the object region. And then we have object. And this is for analyzing an object that moves with the background, kind of like something that's moving across. Under this analysis boundary, if I show our scene mask overlay, it's going to show an overlay of what our boundary is looking for or what is analyzing around that boundary. Under render, this is our search range. So right now it's set at 20. So it's going to search for 20 frames back and 20 frames ahead for replacing that image. So the more we increase it, the more frames it's going to look to replace. So if I put this to 40, it's going to look 40 back and 40 ahead to replace that image. In our blend modes, we have linear and we have adaptive. And linear is just going to be your basic, simple blend mode, but it could be a little choppy and throw lines on it. And adaptive is going to uh, blend those new backgrounds a little better than linear is. You may want to bounce back and forth to see what is better. Under clean plate, we get the option to change how our clean plate source is being sourced. So right now it's set to internal, which means it's going to use the existing footage as our clean plate and kind of search and replace with that. If we just want to use a gray image, we can use a gray image. And if we want to use external, we can use external, but the external is only going to work if we input an actual clean plate into this pink clean plate input. So we're going to leave it on internal. So once you have all your settings, you can go ahead and hit this scene analysis and it's going to analyze the scene. Now, if I select as a build clean plate, it's going to uh, select that clean plate it picked up to replace that. So now I just hit build clean plate. You can see it filled it in a little better. It's not that great, but it's better. 
And if we want to show what it did for our clean plate, we can just select that and it's showing what it used internally as our clean plate. So that's one example of using the uh, object removal tool. So our second piece of footage, you can see uh, we have our footage locked down on sticks and uh, we want to remove this cop car that's in our footage. So let's go ahead and add a object removal. And uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. And first thing we want to do is tell it what we want to remove. So we're going to add in the little ellipse and we're going to input it into our green input. And uh, let's get our ellipse where it belongs and resize it. So let's get it on our little police car here. And I'm going to animate our location and our width since it's going towards the camera, it's going to get larger. So let's find where it's almost out of frame. Right here. And I'm going to move our ellipse. And I'm going to make it a little larger. And uh, we're getting some shadows in there, so I probably would make it bigger than that, but this is good for now. And uh, let's go back a few frames till it's out. And let's move it out of frame. So now we've got our little ellipse following our cop car. So on our object removal, I'm going to show our mask and make sure our mask is following. And our mask is following. I'll shut it off. And for C mode, we're going to change this to object again. And uh, let's go ahead and change this to, uh, say, 30. And let's check out our mask size. We can minimize it a little bit. And once I hit this assume no motion, it's going to disappear and attempt to uh, fix that. But we didn't build our clean plate. And since we're using the internal, we don't have an actual clean plate. We're going to select build clean plate. And you can see our car is gone. So now if I play, we can still see a little residual coming across there and we can finesse this to make it a little better, but basically our cop car is gone. But you do notice when we first come into frame and especially when we go out of frame, we're showing some more of these little artifacts. And that's just because it doesn't have additional frames to uh, kind of repopulate those pixels. So. This is why it's important to get more footage than you actually need. That way we can extend this footage longer and it would have more info to be able to remove that. But you can see pretty quick, pretty easy way to remove objects. That is the object removal tool. I will see you in the next node breakdown.